Imagine nag-deposit ka ng malaking amount sa banko, may deposit slip, confirmed na binigay mo yung cash. Pero pag check mo sa account balance mo, it log, walang laman. Hindi pumasok yung deposit. This happened to me last month, except instead of a bank, it was coins.ph and the amount medyo malaki. Did coins.ph take my money and run? More after the ad break because kailangan ko maghanap buhay since pa-deposit-deposit pa ako, hindi naman na-credit sa account. Sawa ka na ba sa unactivated windows mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mula sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation codes. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang um order. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes, nagsindigi ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sad and depressed ako. But now, I found the love of my life. Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor. So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako, pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Kasama sa paghanap buhay, sobrang nakintulong talaga yung YouTube membership. So, a lot of thanks to our existing members. And hello to Rene Gaspar, our newest member. You can see details on how to join by clicking the join button below. Okay, so last September 4, I went to Union Bank to deposit money into my coins account. Wala kasing physical branches yung coins mismo. So to get money to them, you have to go through other entities like banks or GCash. No problem yung deposit. Yung Union Bank, matagal ng paperless. As in, literally, you hand over cash and then wala kang nakukuha na kapalit na physical confirmation na nag-deposit ka. They do email you a confirmation, dapat. But the more you're around computers, the more you know things break, processes don't work, I don't trust that I will get an email. So for Union Bank, I take a screenshot of the teller screen showing that I deposited. Next step, to tell coins that I did deposit. To initiate a coins deposit, you do so via their site and then you have to keep that exact same window open so that you can click deposit confirm and upload confirmation of the deposit. So, dito pa lang two things. One, matagal na ang paperless yung Union Bank, so why does coin still ask for an upload? Two, it would be nice if you don't need to keep the window open because normal people initiate deposits and then leave the computer to actually go do the deposit. In that span of time, it's very possible the browser window with the deposit page will be closed. So since na close ko na yung browser window and Coins doesn't have an option to retrieve the initial deposit request, when I got back to my desk, I initiated a customer service request saying, Hey, I deposited and here's the confirmation. Inattach ko yung deposit slip. Initially, I did get confused on the amount I deposited, but I cleared that up in the very next message. Coins promptly got back to me and said, Just initiate a new deposit for the same amount as the old one and upload confirmation there. That's what I did, but it looks like Coins did not get the information. By now, it's September 6, two days after my deposit, and now when I try to make a new deposit and upload the confirmation in line with the instructions that were sent to me, I get an error message. Coin support says, take a video of the problem. I do, but I can't send it to them because their server has a file size limit. So I send it as a Google Drive link. Why ask for a video and then not give a decent sized file limit? Yung pinapadala ko na video, mga 75 megabytes lang, not that big. Anyway, I send the video and then get instructed to check the speed of my internet connection. I'm also instructed to try to use the mobile app instead of the website. I haven't had any problems with my home internet, pero sige, I test and send them back the results. I also try using the mobile app, no joy. Now it's September 7, three days after deposit. Wala pa rin na credit, and I keep getting asked technical questions implying there's a fault on my end. Masyado daw mataas ping ko, 
I asked when the deposit will be credited, and they gave a vague answer. Kinulut ko sila the same day, and the answer is, we would need to resolve the network issue or the error message you encounter for you to send in receipts needed first and foremost. So basically, no timeline on crediting the deposit, and we don't know what's wrong. Great. To be honest, medyo kinabahan na ako at this point because the amount is large and parang walang game plan for resolution. September 9 na tayo, 5 days after deposit. I am doing everything they tell me to do and trying to be polite. I try again and again with the upload. I try 3 different networks with 2 different devices in 2 different locations over the span of almost 6 days. Ayaw talaga! And all I keep hearing is try the same thing. Eh, hindi nga gumagana. Do the same thing is not working. And this really annoys me when any kind of customer support does this. Alam na nga nila, hindi gumagana, pinipilit pa rin. In the end, ako pa, yung customer na nagbigay ng suggestions on how to resolve the problem. Again, the issue is getting proof to coins that the deposit was made. There are a lot of ways to do this outside of their upload procedure. I suggested some to them. Yes, it might not be the standard way, but the standard way is not working. Give me a solution naman that has a chance of success. So it's a you, not me problem. And if it's a you problem and you don't want my money, that's fine. Pero, ibalik mo naman yung pera ko. September 10, 6 days after deposit. Coins ignores my request for a refund and tells me, are you surprised? To do the same thing again. Specifically, to try using the web page instead of the mobile page. I was using the website initially and it was Coins na nagsabi sa akin to try to use the mobile app. Now, they're telling me to try the website again. Yung malungkot pa dun, yung nag-suggest pa sa akin na subukan yung website was one of the first guys to handle my issue. So he should have known that using the web page was literally the first thing I tried to do. Plus, <laughs> it doesn't inspire confidence if the customer service can't even get the name of the customer right. At least finally on September 10, there is an acknowledgement from Coins that the problem is on their end. For September 10 to 16, nagbahala na si Batman mode na ako. I didn't follow up with coins, they didn't follow up with me. Kasi at this point, ano pa magagawa ko? I am completely powerless. 1. Coins has my money. 2. They will not credit it. 3. They will not refund it. 4. I have tried everything coins told me to do and nothing worked. And lastly, number 5. They have ignored my suggestions on how we can proceed. Paano na? Good my money na lang ba to? On September 16, I get a weird message. Weird kasi from my point of view, it doesn't tell me anything useful. There was a cash-in order which was rejected due to an invalid proof. Oh, <laughs> kaya tayo nandito. I gave you guys money and I tried to prove it to you but you won't believe me. Rejected due to an invalid proof. And then they tell me to try doing the same thing again. Ang paborito kong solusyon. I'm not hopeful, but I give them the benefit of the doubt since it has been almost a week since they last contacted me. Salamat sa Dios. On September 16, I was able to successfully upload the deposit confirmation through the procedure that Coins kept insisting on. Almost two weeks after the deposit, na credit na rin finally. I thought trading crypto would be stressful. Yung pagpasok pa lang ng pera para makatrade, sobrang stressful na. In the end, there was no acknowledgement from coins na may mali on their end. The message of September 16 makes it appear that the problem was still on my end. Rejected due to an invalid proof. And you know what? I mean, maybe. In hindi ko alam. Baka nga ako may kasalanan. The procedure is so opaque and the technical solutions offered so general that I, I have no idea. But whatever I did wrong, I don't think it was such a monumental error that it would take two weeks to credit the deposit amount. Tapos, walang assurance that the deposit would be credited or refunded. 
for almost two weeks, nasa ere lang yung amount. I do also have an account with Pidax and have deposited money with them and have not come across any problems depositing. Just saying. Really stressful and I think Coins could have handled this in a much more straightforward manner to ease the stress of the customer. Thanks for watching.